Hello friends, welcome to Science Gully. In today's video, we are going to learn about water level alarm. Friends, all of us have overhead water tanks in our house. Wouldn't it be fun to design a water level alarm which will monitor and give an alarm based on the water level of the tank. Let's have a look at the materials required. We need two NPN transistors. Here I am using BC547. Four resistors with the value of 220 ohm, one piezo buzzer, one LED, a battery and some connecting wire. The circuit which we are going to design today will indicate two levels of water in the water tank. The first level when the tank is half filled the LED will glow and in the second level when the tank is about to fill we will receive an alarm through the buzzer. Now let's understand the circuit diagram. I will divide the circuit in two parts. First part is for the LED and the second part is for the buzzer. Both the transistors, transistor 1 and transistor 2 are getting power source from the battery through the resistor to their collector nodes. And to both of their emitter nodes, we are connecting the indicators. For T1, it is connected to the LED and for T2, it is connected to the buzzer. And then it is connected to ground so that we complete the circuit. Base of each transistor will get the signal from the water level. Based on the water level signal to the base, the transistor will be in either open or closed condition. Initially, there will be no water in the tank. When the water slowly rises and reaches the 50% level, it comes in contact with the lid of the base of the transistor T1. This makes the transistor T1 conduct and glow the LED. Slowly the water level rises from 50% to 100% and the transistor T2 conducts to switch on the buzzer. Let's do the connections. Now place the transistor in such a way that the flat portion faces you. Then to your left side will be the collector and to the right side will be the emitter. Now connect the first resistor to the base node and the second resistor to the collector node. And connect the anode of the LED to the emitter node. Now connect the cathode of the LED to the ground Now connect the collector to VCC through R1 Take a connecting wire and connect one of its end to the base node of the transistor and its other end will go into the water tank in the same way, I have done the connection for transistor T2. This is the wire coming from the base of the transistor T2 which will go into the water tank. Now take a cable, connect one of its end to VCC and its other end will go into the bottom of the water tank. This is the cable coming from T1. This is the cable coming from T2 and this is the cable coming from VCC. Now the water level in the cup is just below 50%. When I pour a little water, it will reach 50%. Now I will start pouring the water and let's see if the LED glows or not. So I am adding little water. 
and you can see the LED glows. So now it has reached 50%. Now I will pour a little more water and let's see if the buzzer gives us any output. Now I'm pouring little more. Slowly it is rising. And now the buzzer is giving us an output. This means that the tank has reached 100%. This alarm is used to monitor the level of any conductor liquid. Friends, this is an amazing project you can use for your school science exhibition. For this experiment, you need some resistors, transistor, a buzzer and LED which will not cost you much. So give it a try and let me know if it works for you. Thank you for watching Science Gully. I'll be back with more videos soon. Till then, bye-bye.